हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई हैव 190 इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर फॉर एवरी सिविल साइट इंजीनियर जॉब्स क्यूए क्यूसी इंजीनियर जॉब्स इंस्पेक्टर एटसेट्रा व्हेन यू लर्न दिस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस यू विल नेवर एवर नीड मोर स्टडी फॉर इंटरव्यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड 136 इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो पार्ट वन पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट थ्री एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट द क्वेश्चन इज वन थर्टी सेवन वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सीमेंट्स वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सीमेंट विच आर यूज फॉर कॉलेज कंस्ट्रक्शन आर लिस्ट इन बिलो नंबर वन पोर्टलैंड रसुलाना सीमेंट पी पी सी लोहिट पोर्टलैंड सीमेंट पॉलर पोर्टलैंड सीमेंट हाइड्रोफोबिक सीमेंट आर्नी पोर्ट लैंड सीमेंट ओ पी सी वाइट पोर्ट लैंड सीमेंट डब्ल्यू पी सी रेपिड हार्निंग सीमेंट्स पोर्ट लैंड सेलेक्ट सीमेंट सल्फेट रिजिस्टेंस पोर्ट लैंड सीमेंट वाइट पोर्ट लैंड सीमेंट डब्ल्यू पी सी एटसेट्रा द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट डू यू मीन बाई वाटर सीमेंट रेशियो एंड हाउ इट इज रिलेटेड टू द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कंक्रीट द वाटर सीमेंट रेशियो रेशियो ऑफ वेट ऑफ वाटर टू द वेट ऑफ सीमेंट यूज इन ए कंक्रीट मिक्स A lower constant ensure high strength and durability but is but it is difficult to mix either lower capability of concrete mix and mixes are added to deal with workability for workability for workability super plasticizers are used uh, as add mixers the next question is 139 list list the steps involved in the in concrete process steps in concreting are as given below batching of concrete mixing transportation of concrete compaction of concrete covering the next question is 140 what is bursting reinforcements tensile stresses induced during prestressing operation are called as a bursting reinforcement and it is maximum where the stress uh, tra trajectories are concave toward the line of action of the load The next question is, uh, what are the major difficulties faced during pumping concrete work? Difficulties are discussed are discussed below. The force needed to con to overcome the friction between concrete and the pumping pipes along with the weight of the concrete in the pressure head. Segregations and bleeding are the major problem associated with the pumping. Aggregate selection is important in this process to reduce error in works. The next question is reason for concreting being weak in tensions. Concrete is a combination of materials like several aggregate types, cement, pozzolana, water, air, etc. We stick together with a cement paste or the zone called interface zone is the weakest is the weakest link in the structure. During compression, the interface is the is the only to transfer transfer compressive stress from aggregate to aggregate which does not require exceptional strength while the while the scenario while the scenario under tension is not the same the aggregates in the tension are trying to pull away from each other and the bond is what hold is tightly since it is significantly weaker than the aggregates it is what the result in failure the next question is explain grouting Grout is a fluid form of concrete that is used to fill the voids and this method is nothing about grouting. The next question is what is the recommended slump for the column? Uh, the recommended uh, slump of the column I already told you in the previous video 75 mm to 125 mm. Uh, the next question is what is the range for the bearing capacity of granite around the uh, around between 30 to 35 kg per square centimeters the next question is what are the recommended standard of tamping rod used in cube filling for cube test according to the ice code 2386a uh, 16 mm steel rod with the rounded edge is recommended specifications the next question is 147 explain what are the function of column in buildings support structure load and transfer it through beams to the foundations uh, the next question is 148 what are the uses of groins uses of groins are stop the long short drift slow down erosion the next question is uh, what what do we call the portion of a brick cut across the void 
it is called bat the next question is 150 state and explain the reinforcement used in the process of pre-stressing the major types of reinforcement used in pre-stressing are Uh, spanning reinforcements the spanning stress adjourned layer to stress behind the loading area of the anchor blocks which result into the breaking of the surface completed equilibrium reinforcements in this type several anchors exist where the pre-stressing load are applied in a sequential manner with bursting reinforcements various stresses occur in, ca in case of the stress concave tra trajectories Towards the line of action of load in order to reduce such stresses. Here, the reinforcements are in the form of bursting is required. The next question is uh, explain what is Q and QC. Quality assurance QC set of activities to make sure quality in the process by which works are done. This term is quality assurance. It is the process of managing for quality. Uh, quality QC quality control quality control can be defined as the set of activities that ensure quality in work. This activity focused on identifying defects in the actual products produced. The next question is. This is also very important questions. List down the ratio of grade M5, M7.5, M10, M15, M20, M25, M30, M35, M40. The grades are having their following ratio M5, 1510, M7.5148, M10136, M15124, M20 183, M25112. M30, M, M35, M4 design mix follow. The next question is the length of each fish plate. Uh, 457.2 millimeters. The next question is a rail chair are used to fix water double head rails. The next question is is highly effective process of repairing concrete walls or damaged surfaces. The answer is flat bearings. We use flat bearings. The next question is explain cement soundness. It is the property of cement that ensures that the cement does not go through any unwanted expansion or experience any change in volume once it has been set. Cement soundness is a necessary process to help cement get rid of any possibility of the mortar or concrete from getting expanded. The next question is what is uh, used to check the creep of concrete? Uh, by anchors. The next question is what are the materials used in building a gravity dams? Compacted earth and concrete are used depending on the dam type. Many gravity dams could be constructed of compacted earth while high dams are generally made out of concrete. The spillway is a necessary requirement for dams. The next question is what made you decide to become a civil engineer? May my patience and interest is learning building works have encouraged me to become a civil engineer. I love working as a civil engineer and I learn at every stage of my work. The next question is What is the purpose of the gap in the road and the bridge? The purpose of the gap in the road is to allow road expansion and constrictions caused due to temperature changes without damaging or deformation. The road. The next question is in India Railway. The minimum uh, formation wide is embankment for a single line of a board gauge 6.1 meters. The next question is the direction of the engine are changed using the device or current table. The next question is provide to prevent the vehicle from moving beyond the end of the rail at a terminal buffer stop. Buffer stop. The next question is how important is moment of inertia in civil engineering? This concept is used to resolve various issues in civil, in civil as well as in mechanical engineering. It measures the opposition of any kind of body against a certain moment that is rotating. The next question is name the type of clearance. The distance between the running edge of the stock and switch rail at the switch hill, hill clearance. The next question is uh, what are the tests used for checking brick quality? This is also the very important questions uh, about building materials. 
absorption test harness test shape and size test crossing strength test sound test etc are performed are performed to determine the brick quality for example in the water absorption test brick is uh, dipped uh, in fresh water for uh, 16 hours in water and depending on the weight of the brick is class is decided in such as a if the weight of the brick after dipping in water does not exist 20% it can be considered as a first class brick sum if below uh, 22.5% it can be considered as a second class brick and so on the next question is name the clearing that is defined as the distance between the addition of face of the stack rail and the check rail the question is the answer is french way clearing sir the next question is explain what is the wide ratio wide ratio is the volume of wide to the volume of solids the next question is stack rails are fitted against tongue clearing sir the next question is the angle subtending between the gauge face of the stack rail and check it is called the switching angle is up. the next question is explain the critical explain the critical path method method i already discussed this questions in the previous video the next question is how can specific gravity of cement can be determined the composition of cement is itself in powder form hence it is not easy to measure its specific gravity ultimately knowing its specific gravity is not particularly useful finding and can the conclusion to a solution is that the more useful question what is the typical density of concrete and according to the rule of the thumb it answer is that the normally cured concrete has a density about of 150 pound per cubic feet so the next question is define throw a throw of a switch the distance the distance between the running face of the stack rail and throw of the tongue rail is known as a throw of switch the next question in, in millimeter is the maximum value of the throw of switch of a broad gauge track 995 mm the next question in india the crossing number for passenger turn out can be taken as a 12 mm the next question is a warning signal which is first visible to the driver is known as a outer signal the next question is list out the different steps involved in building construction major steps involved in building construction like concreting masonry work plastering work flooring work farm work steel cutting and bending the next question is uh, how how will you measure the volume of concrete sir it is a simple task multiplying its length wide and thickness together for example 2 minute 2 meter multiply by 2 meter multiply by 2 meter is equal to 8 cubic meter of the volume of concrete in in also multiply the factor of concrete 1.54 the next question in why concrete cover is for wide terrain reinforcement sir this is also important question the function of cover is to protect the reinforcement bar against corrosion and to provide ultimately provide resistance against fire the next question how do check level of construction sites sir mm, we use specially spirit level dumping level and leveling pipes are used to check level of construction sites sir the next question is What is the accuracy of least count we can take of the dumping level? 5 mm is the least count of dumping level. It is a uh, accuracy that can be provided by dumping level. The next question is uh this question already discussed in the previous video. Uh, the next was this is also discussed uh the next question is state of the size of concrete cube 15 mm multiplied by 15 cm multiplied by 15 cm. The next question is What is the procedure to be followed if any concrete cube fail in 28 days compared to stands I already told you uh, we, we will conduct the core cutter tests after the failure of the concrete cube in comparison test stand test conduct a core cutter test and concrete and report is sent to the higher authorities the next question what is the 20 grit of concrete is also discussed 1.3 this question I'll also discuss the Uh, define floating slab of foundations a floating concrete foundation is a type of mat foundation that consists of the hollow uh, the hollow mat formed by a grid by grid of the thick reinforcement concrete wall between two thick reinforcement concrete slab is called as a floating concrete foundations the next question in the density of steel is in construction i already discussed these questions 
this question is already discussed. Uh, the next question is the last question is what is the curve and also state the height of low curve. A curve is defined as a structure that can separate pavement and medians. Pavement and shoulders, pavement and footpath. The height of low curve is restricted to 100 mm only. Thanks for watching. I have completed 190 interview questions in 4 video, part 1, part 2, part 3 and part 4. The, when you learn this interview question, you will never ever need more study for interview. So the video are very important and watch to the ends and don't miss this video. Thanks for watching.